So now that we can de-equip our bags correctly, we will also have to make sure that the items that was in the bag we de-equipped will be replaced in the inventory somewhere so that they don't disappear. And to do that, we have to go to the remove bag function inside the bag button. And in here, we'll have to make sure that we take all the items we just removed and put them back into the inventory. So we'll take all the items from the bag we removed and put them back into the inventory. Um, we can do that by doing a for loop here. Um, let's just do it right there. Another for loop for each. And we want to take all the items from the bag we just equipped. So to do that, we will have to get a collection of items from the bag we equipped and replace them or re-put them into the inventory. And we can do that by going to the back script actually. And inside the back script, we will have to create a new function for returning all the items. So we can actually do that just below a wake or something. We can make a public function that returns a list of items. Let's call it get items. So this one needs to return a list of items. Well, before our back script is able to access all the items from the slots, we will have to go to the slot script. Because right now in our slot script, we have a private observable stack called items. And we need to access this one from the back script now. Because we need to access all the items and return them whenever we um, dequip a back, right? So right now we can't access this because it's private. So I'm going to right click quick actions and encapsulate field. This created a property for me down here called items. I don't need to set it because I, there's no way I'm going to change the item stack. So let's just delete that. But I would like to return it so that I can get all the items out. And this one can simply be called, let's say, my items. Oops, let's just rename it, right click, rename my items. And save that. So that's what we need to do in the slot script. Right now we can jump back to our back script and we can make it for each loop. So the for each loop is going to run through all the slot scripts on this bag. So we're going to call the slot and it's going to run through the slot collection. So we're going to check all slots on the bag. Well, we need to check if a bag has items on it. So we are going to make an if statement. So if our slot does is empty. So if the slot isn't empty, well, that means that it has some items on it, doesn't it? So we're going to make it for each loop. And in that for each loop, we're going to check all the items in the slot.myitems. So remember, there's an S here, my items. So we run through all the slots on the back. If the slot is empty, well, then there should be an, in, uh, an item on it. Then we run through all the items on the slot, let's say we have a stack of potions, then we need to add all the potions, of course. And what do we do with the item? Well, we actually create a list of items here. And we occupy this list of items with, like that, we occupy this list of items with the items we find in the bag. So we can simply say items.add item. There we go. So now we have occupied this list with all the items that is in this specific bag. When we've done that, we can return the items like so. So now we have a function that we can use to ask a bag for all its items. So we can actually say, well, we have a bag here. Can you please return all your items to me so that I can um, keep a reference to them and use them later? So with that done, we can jump back to our back button. And inside the back button, we say, well, for each item in my bag dot my bag script dot get items. So we just get all the items there. With that done, we have a list of items. So we can say inventory script dot my instance dot add item. Well, we would like to add every single item here. There we go. And then we set the back to null. So we take all the items in the, in the back and put them back into the inventory after we decrypt it. So if we save this, and let's see here, play the game. I think I want to do it in maximized. So let's see, we add all these bags, we equip one, 
and let's see if we add some potions or something and some bags so okay we have two bags and two stacks of potions okay that means that we need to free up five spaces there we go so if i equip this bag there's a space for the back here and there's four slots here for these four items so i can take the bag and equip it and now all the items from the other other bag went into this bag and of course it still works the fact that we can't um dequip like anything if there's not enough room so i can't dequip this now because there's not enough room for it so now we are handling the dequipping of the bags correctly so that all items that are in the bag will be replaced in the inventory if there's enough space so thanks for watching thanks for watching my video please remember that inscope studios is a community founded page so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return